Greetings, all. I've spent most of my life in and around Bradenton, Florida, and much of that time navigating the roads in the area. In that time, I've noticed that many folks don't understand how to get around in Bradenton, so I thought I'd make this short video to try and help you out. The first thing you should understand is that from what I can tell, someone with some basic common sense laid out the basic plans for Bradenton, but the developers and the politicians came in and confused things the best they could. With that understanding, let's start with the basics. This is the logical common sense part. First of all, streets run north and south. 5th Street West, 9th Street East, 75th Street Northwest, whatever, all streets run north-south. Second of all, all avenues run east-west, 44th Avenue West, 30th Avenue East, 9th Avenue East, whatever, all avenues run east-west. Not too bad so far. Second, all roads are laid out in grid fashion. In other words, starting with 1st Street, remember all streets run north-south, starting at 1st Street, all streets increase in number as they move out to the east and to the west. So as you move west from 1st Street, you have 9th Street West, 14th Street West, etc. And as you move east from 1st Street, you have 9th Street East, 15th Street East, and so forth. And avenues all run east to west. Since 1st Avenue is almost all the way at the north side of Bradenton, avenues increase as you move south. So you have 1st Avenue, then 8 blocks later you have 9th Avenue, 8 blocks later you have 17th Avenue, you get the idea. The house numbers also play the grid game. So if you're on 17th Avenue West at the corner of 39th Street, that's the 3900 block of 17th Avenue. And the bank on 44th Avenue West, which is Cortez Road, at the corner of 51st Street West is 5100 Cortez Road West, etc. One area that I've noticed that really seems to confuse people is what they usually describe as those street court drive place things. Fear not, it's not as bad as it appears. It's really pretty simple. Most of those suffixes are just letting you know that those roads don't go very far. So if you want to go from 26th Street West over to 15th Street East, don't plan on getting there via 47th Avenue Drive West because it isn't going to go that far. And for what it's worth, courts usually go with streets and drives and terraces usually go with avenue. So you will normally have a street court and an avenue drive or an avenue terrace, but not an avenue court. That's about it for the logical part. From here on out, it starts to get a little more complex. Enter the developers and the politicians. Most of the main through roads in Bradenton have more than one name. They might have their given scientific name, if you will. Let's look at First Street for an example, and one of the most convoluted examples, I might add. Since there are only a few bridges that cross the Manatee River, several roads combine and share the road. Enter the politicians. So looking at 1st Street, 1st Street is also US 41, which is also called the Tamiami Trail, although even most Bradentonians aren't confused enough to call it that. Then to add some more fun, US 301 swings over to use the 41 bridge and joins in for a few miles so that you can drive on 1st Street, 41, Tamiami Trail, and 301 at the same time. But thankfully, most streets in town aren't quite that confusing. One other thing to watch out for is multiple highway names. We have a US 41, a Business 41, not too abnormal, but we also have Old 301, New 301, 301 Boulevard East, so if you get directions, make sure you know which 41 or which 301 you need. I'm going to get a little more specific from here out. I hope it helps. If you learn a few key roads, you can get most anywhere you need to get and use the grid to keep track of where you are. If you need to get from east to west, there are a few avenues you'll want to use. Starting at the top, in the north, Manatee Avenue, which is also State Road 64, will get you from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to the middle of the state. A little farther south, you have a few good east-west options, 44th Avenue East or West, also called Cortez Road, and apparently also State Road 684, though I've never actually heard anybody call it that. Cortez will get you most anywhere east to west if you don't mind parking lot speeds much of the way. Nine blocks south, you have 53rd Avenue, which is also State Road 70, 
and that'll take you almost all the way from the Gulf beaches in the west and almost all the way to the Atlantic on the east coast. But we're not covering quite that far east. A little farther south, 63rd Avenue, a.k.a. Bayshore Gardens Parkway, a.k.a. El Conquistador Parkway, and also Whitfield Avenue, which surprisingly has no known aliases, will get you pretty far in your east-to-west journey. North-south street names are a bit more boring and don't cover quite as much distance as the east-to-west avenues. Moving from left to right, or west to east, here are some good streets. Remember, streets run north and south. 75th Street is a great road in West Bradenton. 59th Street West, 51st Street West, and 43rd Street West are all good streets to take if you want to get between Cortez Road and Manatee Avenue. 34th Street West is a good road to take if you're south of Cortez Road. 14th Street West, also US 41 most of the way, will get you all the way from north to south through the middle of Bradenton. Moving east, 9th Street East and 15th Street East, a.k.a. Old 301, a.k.a. 301 Boulevard East, will both get you north to south via smaller residential industrial roads. A little farther east, US 301, new 301 to the locals, is a good open highway to get north to south on. Then further east, 45th Street East, a.k.a. Lockwood Ridge Road, is mostly residential, but covers a lot of north to south territory. Much of the area between these through streets is taken up with subdivisions with a lot of those courts, places, terraces, and circles. These subdivisions were laid out by developers and don't necessarily play by the rules and often won't get you from here to there. Come to think of it, you can't get there from here. The farther east you go, the more the developers plan things out and the more the grid system falls by the wayside. That may be a video for another time. I hope this little tour of Bradenton helps you as you traverse the highways and byways of our little city of Bradenton.